Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to react to some creepy videos. Let's watch. Michael D. McGee of YouTube posted this poltergeist clip of his kitchen a few days ago. Drawers and cabinets open that are thrown around. Check out his channel for his article documentation. Just the ghost making his dinner. Leave him be. Everyone gets hungry once in a while. Wouldn't that be funny? Don't get hangry. So violent. What was that? Was those eggs? That ghost was very angry. Couldn't find anything to make his food. Oh. What the heck? I am not ready for another jump scare. The f is that? Please, my heart cannot take it. <laughs> I was not ready for another jump scare. <laughs> Compilation of eerie paranormal and supernatural phenomena happening across the world. The I trumpets. Know I'm a slow, but that's not an airplane. It's not a rocket. Maybe the dragons have been released. Somebody pissed off Godzilla. I don't know. What the hell is this? Whatever it is, it's shaking my house. The sky trumpets. Yeah, I've seen this video. That's such a trip. The explanation of it. What is going on here? Bro, look at these clouds. What is going on? What is that? Parece que se escucha como por allá al fondo, ¿no? Se oye como fondo o como por el cielo. Sí, sí, también puede ser. No sé. Es una cosa rarísima. Dude, how come in the U.S. we can't hear this? Especially in California. I've never heard this sounds before. They do sound like dragons. Dude, even the dogs were reacting to it. Oh, that is crazy. They hide among the clouds and in the volcanoes. That one's still a trip to me. Wow. 
What is that? What is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Aliens. It's an orb. We got an orb on video. It's water right boy. Now, on the surface water. of the Bubble water. boy. There we go. And it's it's just skimming across the water right now. God, I love compilations. <laughs> This message is being broadcast by the Dominican At 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, multiple unidentified objects were confirmed to have entered Earth's atmosphere. It is speculated that these objects are of extraterrestrial origin. It's still entertaining. The yeah that's not real <laughs> man we're screwed if that ever happens in real life now they're all watching the fucking movie look at this shit what the fuck <laughs> that's what's called the idiot box Wait, what? Nah. That has to be like a certain type of mirror. Oh, that's a trip. Uh, no, that's... Yeah, no, you can see it retracting back. Sunny. Batter was out running his four wheeler when he caught a cryptid on his helmet cam. It's very tall, standing next to the tree by the trail. I saw that too. Where? That one or the other one? Oh, wow. Can you imagine you're just doing your thing in the middle of nowhere in the woods, enjoying nature, and then BAM! Oh, God! What is, what is that? Oh, what the? Oh, no. What? <laughs> he was sad at it. Wow. I would have I would have done that too. I uh, found a they found a species in the tunnel where the figure was. I think that's what it translates to. I don't know. I don't know what was up with that. They found a species in the tunnel in the cave. Really interesting and bizarre. The woman notices something strange coming towards her, and something she describes as a shapeshifter, defying all rational explanation. The hoof demon. Where are you at? Like how I do. Oh, look at that! What the heck? What? Wow. Notice its legs in the form of an animal, the upper body void of light, translucent, bent forward, and mid-shift. Wow. It was a ghost, right? A shadow person goat? Maybe? I don't know. Every night at the same time the spirit walks by, is it lost in limbo or is it looking for a home?
could have been a spirit that passed away there. It's sad. You know, that sucks to think about that some spirits don't cross over and they're just tied to the earth, just walking around aimlessly. I'm effectively responsible for that flat. I'll take you back. He has no luck opening the closet door, so he decides to try and use a bunch of different sized Allen keys, which still doesn't work. Eventually, one of the other neighbors recommends that he tries using the end of a spoon, and surprisingly, it works. You won't believe what he found inside. Another neighbour told me to try and open it with the back of a spoon. So I'm going to check where it is now. Fucking hell. Or it could be an animal. Now that's even fucking stranger. Like a raccoon or something. Nothing that makes sense. That could be the noise. Or rats. And now the noise has stopped and I've opened it, which is even stranger. Again. Have we got any suggestions? Yeah, it could be animals. Whoa, I'm getting out of this fucking trap. Using the spoon, he manages to get the closet door open. And as he opens it, there's nothing inside. And the noise stops. Later on, he comes back to check on his neighbor's place once again. And strange things start happening outside of the closet. I'm going out soon, so I'm going to check that weird banging. What? Yo, what the fuck, guys? The fucking light? Come on. If anybody thinks someone's in it, what the fuck was that? Or a motion sensor <laughs> lights. I don't believe in ghosts, guys, but this is fucking weird. The lights just come on. Interesting. And if you think I press the switch out here or something like that, I'll show you the fucking switches. <laughs> no switches on that side. There's two on this side. Mm. That's the bathroom that, that does nothing for the kitchen. This one is for the landing. Yo, what the fuck, guys? That was spooky as fuck. The lights to one of the rooms turns on by itself. The next day, he returns to check the post for the neighbor once again. And as he does so, the banging noises coming from the closet seem to return. This time, more aggressive than before. The banging has started again, guys. <laughs> I can just imagine a raccoon in there. No, like just that. banging the wall. Shut up! <laughs> I'm trying to sleep! People in the comments have been saying they it might be rats. Yeah. Maybe like they've damaged the electrical system. They were fighting wires or something. And they're not even here. It's wind or a rat trying to get out. Something. Once again, as he opens it, <laughs> nobody's there, nor is there anything inside that could be making these noises. Leighton's videos quickly go viral with many people trying to come up with different theories as to what the noises are, mm. with some viewers saying there is rats trapped inside, some think it's just the wind, and others believe there is a spirit bound to that room. Many viewers urged him to inform his neighbor to see if she was aware of this activity, or if it was new, because Leighton says that he has been in her place with her many times before, and nothing strange has ever happened. My theory is that it's either an animal, rats, I'm still going with the raccoon theory. <laughs> Screenshotted it, and I just zoomed in on it. My heart just dropped. Ooh, I can feel my good. face, all the blood in my face ran. I mean, it just, it scared me. It just looked like somebody watching me. Show the eyes. I didn't sleep that night. If I captured something like that, I would not be going back in my home. I mean, at all, without 
a team of investigators and possibly a priest for but, uh... exorcism purposes. This yeah. is such a classic horror movie moment. Nope, 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 nope. I don't As know why, humans, but we that lighting does not do them any favors. look around at our eye level and see what's going just on. makes it look cheap and so we are missing dramatic. the thing that's right above Almost us. Almost makes me not want to believe that. But that's and still a creepy case, picture. That's the scariest part. I often talk about spirits in the home being benevolent, being helpful, not to panic. But when I see something like this, when I see that I just upside think of a down bad infomercial. peering into the main room, I got to admit, a part of me does start to panic. This face in the door frame is coupled with all of this poltergeist activity. Is this from a show? That's an escalation. And what's so scary about that is if it's a poltergeist, this isn't like some ghost trying to talk to you. This is a manifestation of the house. Like this is the house has created that image. I'm thinking that was from a show. It looks way too dramatized for me to believe. He kept waking up to knocking on his front door. Then one night he sees this. A man by the name Diego explains that ever since he moved into a new home, he's been waking up in the middle of the night to a strange visitor knocking on his front door. One night as he's woken up again, he decides to document the event. It captures this. Hay un niño golpeando la puerta. picture of a young boy can be seen banging on the front door but when he opens it no one's there could this house have belonged to the restless spirit of a young boy who lost his life while pulling outside trying to come back home let me know what you think yeah, it's tragic to think what happened what was that backstory about duende a small humanoid duende is captured on camera by a woman seen from her work she thought she was seeing things as she looked ahead lo and behold it was the famous one day creature another transparent shadow figure right there or it just could be a normal short person I don't know about that one yeah I'm not too sure that was a duende Guessing. Classic from Too late YouTube. to go Two girls back to sleep. Wicked. It's time to trust my the instinct. Close my eyes and leave. It's time to try to find me. She's really focused. I think there you go. <laughs> and these spirits just want to be in peace. What were your guys' thoughts on these videos? Let me know in the comments. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Peace.